Okay, well, I hope you guessed everything, because in fact, that's what it is. It's the entire line, right? It's all the points on the line. It's every single number, from all the way from negative infinity all the way out to positive infinity. So that represents everything. But what about this? What would this mean to you? If someone wrote this to you, how would you respond? I hope you would respond, huh? Because you're never, never, never to use a bracket with the infinity thing. Always. Always use a parenthesis. OK, let me just do one last one, and we'll call it a day. What if I gave you the bracket notation? So suppose I said this. What would that mean? Well, that would mean these are values of x that are between 2 and minus 5. And how should the inequality signs go? Well, the values are going to be always bigger than minus 5, but possibly equal, but always strictly smaller than 2. And so that's how you would write that. So you can now convert from here to here and from here to here. And one last one, maybe try this one, 0 to 1. What does that mean? Well, that means all the values for x that are strictly bigger than 0 but strictly less than 1 because there's two parentheses here. That's all there is to interval notation. See you soon.